Now we're going to talk about Jesus' body as a new temple. Jesus said in John 2 verses 19, Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. And in uh, uh, John 2 verses 21, John explains, he said Jesus spoke of his body and so automatically jesus body is the temple is the body he, he cannot eat his death and then he's going to be resurrected and remember this glorious body that he have and that is the temple that is referring to because his death is dealing with the sin problem once again a function of the temple which is now taken over by jesus christ when he died on the cross and when and and, and he gave out his last breath and then the 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 the, the curtain that separated the holy place from the most holy place was torn into to show you that the sanctuary no longer function as the place where God meets his people or where God's dealing with the sin problem but all of that was now fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ the temple is the place where God dwells. One of the words for the sanctuary means to dwell, to stay, to remain in one place. And I will also add the word abide. That is a beautiful term. Abide comes from John 14 verses 10. It says, do not believe, um, do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I, I say, so I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Jesus said, I don't speak on my own authority. The Father is in me and I'm in the Father. And I don't speak of my own authority. But the Father who dwells, who tabernacle in me, does his work. This is powerful. So Jesus said the Father is working in him. God's very presence, the Sakaina glory that descended on, descended on the temple in the Old Testament is inside of him. And he, and he work and he talk and he speak with the authority of God inside of him. That's amazing. And so he abides in God. He's in God. John 15 verses 10. If you keep my commandments... You will abide in my love. Now Jesus say, if we do what he wants us to do, we follow him and be obedient, then we will abide in Jesus' love. Just as I've kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. And so, um, um, Wilson, um, he mentioned that um, in, in his article, he talks about this um, um, mutual abiding where, where Jesus abides in the Father and the Father abides in him. And he talks about the same relationship, Jesus wants the relationship that he had with the Father. The, he wants the same relationship we must have with him. And then when we have that relationship with him, we will have that relationship with the Father. That is amazing thought. So now the idea of the temple is still, there's still a transition with the temple is in the person of Jesus Christ. And Jesus wants us now to be the temple of God as well.